hi everybody i'm back with another video so today's video is going to be pretty much a motivational type of video um i will be talking about the effects of growing up too fast i will let you know you know what happened to me and like give you some tips on what not to do now i'm this only advice so in my opinion so don't take anything you know to heart or you know get mad about anything that said it's only my opinion and my experience that i went through so um i will say as you all if you as you all know from my uh, real talk wednesday video i had my first child at 17 a lot of people don't know this but I don't even know if I want to say it, but it's me being real. I was 16 when I got with this person, but at the time, he was 20 or 21. Now, I, I'm i not ashamed of my son, but I, I really do wish that I would have... Um, waited because having a child at 17 is it's hard you know um i wasn't working um i was still in school matter of fact when i had him it was a week before my senior year started so um basically growing up too fast what i was doing i was having sexual intercourse i was um I wasn't doing any drugs like no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna even sit up here and lie like that I did it once and I don't remember what great I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say this is real talk right so I'm gonna be truthful I tried a I tried we once I'm I'm not sure what age it was but I know I did um I wasn't drinking because I'm, I'm really I'm not a drinker, so I wasn't doing it. That my 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 growing up too fast part was mainly about me being was mainly about boys. I'll say that it was mainly about boys. Um, I did my work in school. I went to class. Except for ninth grade year. Ninth grade year, I skipped. But I'm going to be honest with you. my I think it was my mama. My mama found out the after ninth grade year ended that I skipped. And my mama, when I say my mama beat my tail, my mama beat my tail. So after that, I did not skip. So I pretty much went to class. I did my work. I did my homework and all of that. But when it came down to boys, it's just like, I don't know. It was, I wouldn't say I was, I wouldn't say I was fast. It was just like, I didn't, I'm just going to be honest. I didn't feel pretty. So when a dude gave me attention, it was just like, oh, he likes me. Okay, maybe, you know, he's giving me the attention that I don't normally get. So, when my older sons, when my older sons, I don't, when the person that, the person I made my older son with, when I first met him, I was 16, um, I was 16. I wasn't even think to be honest with you. I wasn't even, I knew how old he was. So me, I was like, no, you're too old. Um, I don't like you. But, you know, it's like he kept giving me that attention that, you know, I wasn't used to. So um, if y'all see me missing my hands, it's because I'm kind of nervous because that this video is going on the internet and I know that my parents are going to look at this video so 
um, I was 16, he was 20 or 21, I'm not sure. Um, I think after about, well, let me go back. Once I told him that I wasn't interested, you know, I knew that he was, he was too old. I was 16, what, what I looked like, you know, 16 being with somebody that's grown, 20, 21. But he kept giving me that attention that I was not used to getting. So, it, it kept on wearing on me. He every literally every time he seen me, he was like, "I'm gonna get you. I'm going to get you." So, um, it kept wearing on me. Now, first, let me say this: I do not condone minors being in no type of relationship with anyone that's grown. Now, this is a, like, it's not, I wouldn't say it's a mistake, but it's something that, you know, that shouldn't have happened, but it did, so it's a life lesson, but I don't condone it, so I'm not on here saying that it's okay to be, it's okay to be a minor and be in a relationship and having sexual intercourse with someone that's, that's grown and that's supposed to be, you know, somebody that's supposed to look out for you, so I'm not condoning it at all, so don't take it as the way, but um eventually the attention you know started getting to me i was like okay um and you know we ended up we started talking and literally literally after a month i got yeah after a month matter of fact yes it was it was either a month or two months after a month or two months of us being together i found that i was pregnant no he told me i was pregnant my mom or my dad does does not know this, but I'm the only one. This is the first time that anyone's gonna be hearing about this besides me. He told me I was pregnant, but me being me, I was like, no, I'm not. You know, I was like, I know my body. I'm not pregnant. Um, I ended up going to the doctor, just like a you know like a routine checkup, and lo and behold, I was. I think I was between, I think I found that I was six weeks pregnant. So, yeah, that, that kind of, I wouldn't say having a, having a child at 17 affects your life. But, um, it's ways around, it's, it's ways you can better yourself and not let it affect you that bad like me. Although I had him at 17, I had, I had the support from my parents. I, I had the help. I I went to school. Long as I feel like long, my parents, I'm not sure if that's how they feel, but that's how I think they felt. Long as I went to school, made sure I did my work, made sure I when I was uh when I wasn't at school and I had my son, long as I made sure I took care of him, that he was good. I had all the support that I needed. So, um. I, yeah, I had all the support that I needed. Um, I was just, I, I really don't know what to say. Um, again, I said I don't, I don't regret, regret my son at all. But you know, under the circumstances that it happened, it you know, it shouldn't have, and. This is like one of those life lessons where when my daughter gets older, I'm going to make sure that it doesn't happen. Um, I'm not putting no type of blame on my parents at all whatsoever. This is just, this is me. I, I knew better. I knew better. But the attention just, you know, started wearing on me. And it just... We ended up in a relationship. I wouldn't even, to be honest, a 16-year-old talking to a 20, 20, 21-year-old is not a relationship. It's, it's really not. You think it is, but it's not. It's not a relationship. That's just uh, an adult taking advantage of you. Because at 16, you think you mature, but you're really not. You still have a child like mine. So when you think that you 
this person love you and this person want to be with you for the rest of their life and you the only person that, you know, they with and all that. Y'all don't believe that. It's just a hype because no way should a 16-year-old be with a 20, 21-year-old. It's, it's just not right at all. So when you when you sit down and you in a relationship, you a minor, and you in a relationship with this grown person, and you think, oh, he loved me, oh, I'm the only person he's dealing with, oh, we're gonna be together forever, oh, he's taking care of me financially, you know, he he he's happy with me, I love him. No, it's it's not. It's all for show. It's it's really all for show. He just. He's just taking advantage of you. And this goes both ways. It's not just female, uh, teenage minors with grown men. It's teenage males with grown women. So it goes both ways. Either way it go, a minor should not be in a relationship with a grown person. It's, it's not right. And it's them pretty much taking advantage of you so like in my experience if i if if i could do it over i would be i would if i could do it over i would take myself out that situation like i wouldn't be around this person i wouldn't have let this person get in my head i wouldn't have been looking at all like I would have been looking at, oh, he can do this for me. Oh, he loves me. Oh, oh, um, I'm his, I'm his only. You know, um, you need to think about, has he been with another minor before? Are you the only one? Is this right? Are you mature enough to realize that he's just taking advantage of you? Um, it's a lot of, a lot of things that can, can go with this. Yeah, but y'all, I'm so nervous that, I don't know, cause, I'm speechless right now cause a lot of people don't know about this. Um. Only, only like my immediate family, like my parents, my sibling, and you know my husband and he, not well, not his family. His sister knows about it. Uh, well, one of his sisters, but yeah, I will just say this, and I'm going to end the video. When it comes. To being in relationships and um, being with boys or females, think about yourself. Like, think about is this something that you want to deal with for the rest of your life? Think about I'm a minor. You're a grown person. This this is not a relationship. This is you taking advantage of me. Um, think about I need to finish school I need to get my life together I don't want anything to hinder my future my future um, think about what this could do to you mentally or emotionally later on down the line because I will say this. It might not seem like it, but it's it's some points in time where I think about it and it's like, man, what was I thinking? So Don't don't try to grow up too fast by, you know, dating these older people because it's it's really not worth it. Take your time, be a child, be a teenager. Um take your take your time.
take your time. And I think that is how I'm going to end the video. Just don't grow up too fast by wanting to be in a in relationship with these older people. Because it's not worth it. It's not a relationship. They're taking advantage of you. They only want you for what they know they can get out of you. And that's the end of the video. Take your time.